Hi guys, it's Mel here from LW Scrapping. I'm here to bring you a layout for <clears throat> 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. Oh, I think so. uh, this is a sketch here that we're going to do today. Try and get the glare off. It's by um, Karen L, and she's one of our uh, design team members in um, the Flare Hut Dotty About Flare. Um, she does some beautiful work. I admire some of the things that she does. She's so arty. Um, now, at the same time, <coughs> all these sketches have been designed especially for 30 days of sketches that we're doing this month. So, um, they are all by people within the community. So nobody minds if you have a go at their sketch or what I do here today. No problems at all. At the same time, I am going to be doing this in relation with Mixed Media Mayhem uh, for this Friday. Um, that's the wrong one. I thought it was stamping. Stamping crayons and splatters. I was looking at the wrong the wrong one. Uh, now, stencils, crayons. Now, I don't have crayons. I don't have the watercolour crayons. Um, I haven't got any as yet. Now I've got to try and find some... I had a stamp that I wanted to use and I can't find where I'll put it now. Um, so earlier on I actually I got the Fanwood stamp set in the mail today and I stamped out some um, moths and I coloured them in. I have these watercoloured pencils um, which I'll show you how they work in just a moment. I've got Ones that have got some nice pretty colours in and then some that are the dull, duller, darker colours. Um, and then I've just got my glitter um, water pen and I've just gone over in parts. You'll see that there's... I've, oh, you can see the glitter in them or not. You might be able to see them once we get on, put on there. Um, so what I'm going to show you is how to use these watercolour pencils. So I don't need a stencil. I thought I was going off my head. Now, I'm actually stamping crayons and splatters. I've got two out. I'm going to do a gold and a purple splatters. I am going to find some stamps in a moment, apart from this one that I've already used, this moth stamp of Vicky Boonton's and I'm going to show you how to use this um, pencil so I've changed what I was going to do and I'm just going to go I've, I've roughly marked out where everything's going to be so I'm going to go like this it's not going to look like anything major and then I'm going to go Similar to over here. So there's a little bit of colouring around. It's just squiggles. I'm not it's nothing anything major. Right, glitter water pen, and I will show you how this works. Make sure we're still recording. Yes, we are. I just had a few problems a second ago. Yeah, just get the water to run a bit. There we go. See how it's just making it sort of turn into a 
an ink type of thing. Or, oh, got some sparkly. I started going by next week's. So I've added a few things that I didn't need to. But, it's kind of where I wanted to go with it. Off. See, it's not looking like pencil marks anymore. Kind of making it look like watercolored. Turning it into a bit of a paintbrush. Like so. What I did is I cut this down because I was going to do something different. But now I've then I changed my mind and I added some vellum, which is actually next week's. Never mind, we'll use it this week as well. So that's our pencils. That's all you have to do. So all I did with this was colour it in and then sort of blend it a little with the, the brush. And that's that. That's how it's going to go roughly. So let's get this down onto its frame. It's a Vicky Bruton, the print shop. Um, I was, I didn't put any thing on it. Uh, lucky enough to get it on special. And I've got the whole collection, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I've still got a couple of things coming, so I couldn't use everything out of it. Because it's not all here yet. Alright. Onto our frame. Okay, can we get that out of the way? Okay. We may need to use some tape if I can find it on my extremely messy desk. Yeah, well, things I've lost the the actual fanwood sticker pack that I just got. Not even where I've put it. I only had it out to get the moth off. Oops. Yep. Out. Right. Okay, so let's get this bit down. So stamping crayons, I've used the pencils because I don't have the crayons. And splatters. Splatters are at the end. So crayons I've used the watercolour pencils. Um, they were a close to my heart. Pencil, close to my heart, watercolour, good for blending too, I could have actually blended um, another colour in with it. I was trying to be safe. Well I've never used the, the watercolour pencils for this sort of thing before actually. This is the first time I've actually done it to look like a bit of a board around the what I would normally do with ink. Is what I've done with the pencil. 
I would have marked it out and I would have just got my blending brush and blended round. Right, now I'm just going about there. But, and I've got a few little banners. Now I'll go back to that and bring Karen's. So this purple paper here is out of the uh, print shop 6x8 um, pad. I want to just to go like so. Like that. I haven't popped these ones together yet. What did I do there? Pink, blue, and then purple. And I'm going three up here as well. Because that one, I, Karen only has two on that one, but I'm going three. Is that just coming up too far? Yeah. Them together. So I can cut that much off. And go like Part of that cut off. So we'll go there like that, and then we'll go I distressed around the circles that I cut out as well. I cut that out with my <clears throat> Creative Memories bigger circle punch. My blue one. And the pitch is actually a um, one of my daughter. She did a selfie on my phone and then popped these little um, pussy cat. I don't even know what you call them. That's how much I don't know about technology. Um, filter on it. <clears throat> so I think we might, might pop our moths on like so. Might go like that. 
Vediamo Moths. Vado a toccare like that. Oh, um, I can stand up here. Now, we need to do some more stamping. Now, I had... This, um, Karen's got some things coming on the side and I thought I might put these there and we'll stamp that in the purple. So it's about there. I need to clean up this room. Okay, so that's that one done. And I have I do like that little round one there, so I might not use that one. Um, I've got this line as well. I wonder if I go like that through the line. And we will use um, prize ribbon for that. Add some blue. Whoa. Going through. Like that. Okay, so that's that one done. this one before. We might go with the pink. Let's see if the pink will okay, so we'll go about there like so. Add some more pink in. Right, so that's got the pink brought into it. I did want these mainly purple. So, we've done our watercolouring with the purple. We've coloured our... So that's that bit done. That one. That part. I might just like embellish with the um with these hopefully that works. Oh. With the rubber stamps. bit. Hopefully you can see that everybody. Now I think I've got a wiggly little heart here, really little heart. 
I should bring a purple. Right. Okay, and this vellum that I've put in the torn bit, so I've made, just done that a little bit extra. Um, that's got gold hearts on it as well. Okay. That's my stamping. So, so that we know, so I've stamped the hearts. We've stamped this bit here. The moths are stamped, although I'm going to kind of make them feel like butterflies. Um... Because I don't have a butterfly stamp. Alright, let's move some of this out of the way. Now, I'm just going to pop a couple of other things. This is all from the print shop. Vicky Booten print shop. Now, what was my title going to be? Super duper. I think I'll do it like Adam does it. It's so hard to get it unstuck. Not the side. Much easier. Hopefully. Oh. Look at that. I'm just going to put super duper. Because she was very clever. I might go on to the... I can't see too much of that pink or we could come down like this okay super duper now out of one of these was I found I'll do the same to this one as well. A friend of mine in, um, I think I, I think Kay's in Melbourne, let me know about Spotlight here in Australia having a sale. And I got literally the whole Vicky Rooten collection for under $100. I know that's hard on the little people, um, like the little shops, but <clears throat> I, I would normally buy online anyway from uh, a place in Queensland, and that would probably, if I was to buy, just say, the paper pad, one of these, one of these, and the um, phrases, um, possibly this book of stickers would probably cost me nearly $180 and that's um, with no shipping but if I was to buy it directly from some of the places which I'd still have to do online because my local store doesn't supply Vicky Booten um, it was going to cost me over $200 because I'd have to pay for shipping now let's pop on before I pop any of those on I'm going to pop my moth on. I'm just going to go down the middle. So I just stamped it on some... Some... Plain white cardstock. It's covering up most of the circle. It covers up the... Go like that. Um, I can't remember what I was saying then. And then hand cut, sorry. I, was, I stamped this and then hand cut them out. I quite like that for that one. As soon as I finish filming and start um, 
cleaning up, I'll find those rubber stamps that I wanted to use. I had a splatter. I'm going to go like that there. I had a flower I was going to use. So this is the flare heart with still dotty about flare, and that was a want to focus today. It's white and gold. Doesn't want to focus. Sorry. So I might just stick that in the middle there. Um. Then that brings another bit of gold in with the gold here, and I can do the gold splatters. And we'll do some little heart bits there. I've got a, there's another purple one on that one, just grab that one out, right. oh I have three purple, cool. Everyday magic. I think I might pop that on that circle there. So I've actually done things on this I would not normally do. I haven't used my watercolour pencils for a long, long time. And I think I'll use them again because I actually don't mind how that's come up. I could probably get away with finding it that's a little bit more. Um, okay, so that's, you do that one, that came over that side, and what else do we have on this one? I'll just leave it at hearts. So, oh, um, there are. I don't think there is anything on there that I want to use. There's lots of stars, lots of hearts, but I've already got my stamped hearts, so I don't want to take away from that. I think where, um, Karen has this is where I'll put my splatters now you guys know I normally finish off with gems or so let's do that okay, that. Where is that one so I'm gonna do flower gems on my tool upside down I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go I'm going to go down oh, I'll go over this side And here I'll go in here. So I normally finish off with gems or nouveau, which I did have purple nouveau as well. These are gems. Let's. Do, well, we're treating the moths like we're pretending they're butterflies today. So nouveau drops, crystal drops. Lots of people have. Things coming down from the butterflies. So let's go like that. Like 
look at that. I have dots coming out. Okay, so there's a bit more mixed media. Um, I'm going to stamp one more thing. I don't think I'm going to wreck anything by doing it. these before you know where's my purple gone I kind of wanted to stamp an arrow underneath. Let's go an arrow that way. An arrow that way. Alright, happy with that. So I'm kind of, yeah, I'm, I'm using the rubber stamps as embellishments today. Um, just to show you, you can embellish with just rubber stamps. So, rubber stamp, which was that one there. These were rubber stamp. Our line was a rubber stamp. The arrows there were stamps. All our hearts were stamps. And I've just added in off the sticker, chipboard, and um, things. That's just the title. And the purple hearts, which just came off on my finger. I probably won't stick to that one, actually. Let's go here. Oh, no one's going to stick. No, it's not. Uh, so that's, oh, I've just wrecked that. See, I told you. I knew I would do something. Leave my drops. I'll just add on top. And this word here is off the chipboard. That's it. That's all I've done. The rest I've done with rubber stamps. Now we have to finish off with splatters. So let's move all this out of the way. The splatters out. I think it was those that didn't need some. Now, this here was all colour study that I had scraps of. Thought I need to tell you about. Cardboard down. You can find it under all my mess. Don't, don't touch any more of the mirror. Love this um, sketch that Karen's done. It's just beautiful work. I think I scrap lifted one of hers the other the other day. This one. And we'll go. And then over down in here. Alright, 
out with the purple spotters. Hmm, where's my little... There it is. So the, the colour sits on the bottom and you have to really shake it up. Okay. Go with some gold. our spotters. A mix me your mayhem. So I think I've covered everything now. Take that off gently so I don't smudge anything. This means I've already wrecked one little part of it. Yeah, let's pick it up. If it will show the glittery on the that's the splatters down there. And that's it. That's the layout for today, everybody. Now there'll be lots of people playing along with mixed media mayhem. Um, I'll have them linked all down below in the description box, as well as everyone who is playing along with 30 Days of Sketches will be putting their video onto a playlist. I'll have that link down below in the description box. So if you think that you might like to have a go at this, by all means, press pause, take a screenshot and have a go. Um, <coughs> you need to try these things out to know whether you can do them or not. I may not have done the, the correct thing, but I don't mind with how mine's come up. Um, considering I've used the pencils, which I'll put that down now. This is how they come. Close to my heart, watercolour pencils. So that's that box. And you just undo the bottom. Push it down. And push it back up. That wants to cooperate. And draw it back up. And that's those ones. Okay. So our pencils are purple behind and on our moth, or butterfly, or moths, butterfly moth things. Um, so there you go, so that's what we're doing today. Um, at the same time, if you do like this, if you could give me a thumbs up, that'd be great. Um, if you're new to my channel, if you would like to subscribe, please do. It does not cost anything to subscribe, like, or comment to anyone. Um, so when you go and check out all the other people on the in the description box, uh, give them a like, subscribe if you're not already, send them a comment. Just might just be one thing about their layout that they've done that you really like. Um, it might just give them a bit of a smile on their face. Um, so thank you to all my subscribers and all my new subscribers. I am absolutely grateful. Thank you very much for helping me grow my channel. Um, something that I didn't think I'd be able to do, but I'm actually quite enjoying it. I really am, um, getting through the layouts too, so, um, so yeah, so thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you when I do the next video, so thank you, bye for now.